One thing that we need to make sure we don't forget about is soil testing. Jason with a better way to farm. We should be or we need to have somebody following the combine taking soil tests. It's one of the most important things we can do right now. We need to have that soil test so we can see the available amounts of nutrients that we have in the soil to see what we need to apply next year to kind of substitute for that. And that one thing to keep in mind and that is important is that when we get a soil test, that is the available nutrients in the soil. It doesn't mean that that's the full level of nutrients in the soil. It's only what is available at that time. We need to be looking at all the levels though. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, manganese, boron, copper, magnesium, iron, and there's a few even smaller ones than that. But we need to be looking at all the levels in our soil. If we're lacking one, that is going to be our yield limiting factor. If you were to take a barrel and have all the boards around it, if one is lower than the rest, that's as full as you're going to be able to fill that barrel. So we need to keep that in mind. So we need to soil test, but maybe you don't know how to soil test. Maybe you don't know where to send soil tests. Maybe you don't know what test needs to be ran or the extraction methods that need to be done. If you're interested in soil testing, drop soil in the comments and someone will reach out.